Hello and welcome back to Oryx Garage. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Today we're going to be servicing my rear brake drums. It's been about 130,000 miles so it's time to get them all taken care of. What we're going to need is our brake shoes, these are from Toyota, as well as a new spring set and then some new drum brakes. These usually can be reused but it's been over 130,000 miles so I thought I'd replace them. They're not too expensive from Toyota either. We also have these clips that come with the shoes. And then we'll need some brake clean just to clean up all the dirt in there. As well as some white lithium grease just to leave some contact points inside of the brake drum. So let's go get to it. Please note, I'm not a licensed mechanic or an engineer. I just want to share some information that I've learned and show how I take care of my truck. So what we're going to do is we'll start by chalking the front wheels and making sure that the handbrake is off as well as making sure that it's out of gear. And then we'll go ahead and remove the tire. We'll do it one side at a time, starting with the driver's side. Next up, we'll have to remove the drum brake. And what we can use are these two threaded holes can push against the back and we'll push the drum off of the axle. Okay, next up we're going to use some M8 bolts. Just screw those in here. the pressure just to get those off. Probably be better to use some hex nuts than Phillips ones. Might help to use some WD-40 around the bolts. It looks like these guys are pretty worn out. It looks pretty dirty in there. Shoes themselves look like they have a bunch of streaks on them. And then the drum itself does not look very good. So it's a good thing we're replacing the shoes and the drums as well as all the springs and everything. So we'll use some brake cleaner to try and clean it all out and then we'll start disassembling so what we're going to do next is we're going to release these springs first we'll release this one and then we'll release 
the one over here and take out this whole assembly. Then we'll need to take these ones out as well as disconnect it down here. And then we'll do this side next. Good thing we're replacing all the springs. Some of them are a little bit stuck on there. So this whole piece comes off. And we can release this guy here. And here we have the handbrake cable, which just sits in here. And all we need to do is pull back this spring bit and then we can release it like that. All good. Okay, so here's everything that we removed. Now we need to remove the last bits off of here. Just removing these clips, taking off the brake adjuster. These are the old shoes and the old springs. Everything they won't be reused. And then over here we have the new shoes with new springs. And these guys are gonna be reused as well as this piece self-adjuster and this little arm I'm gonna mount these back on here using these horseshoe clips over here okay so I put up pieces back on here now we put these horseshoes clips back on and now we're gonna just use some needle nose pliers to pinch them back together Prep the rest of the area, these contact points where the brake shoe is sitting on. I'm going to clean those off with some Scotch Brite 
I'm gonna use some white lithium grease to keep it lubricated. Let's start the reassembly with the this piece of the handbrake. Okay, we're on the passenger side now. And got the drum taken off. This side also look pretty rough. You can see the actual brake pads themselves are pretty worn down. The brake shoes. And we'll start by releasing the spring down here. Spring on this side, the same one on this side came loose when releasing the drum, so that one already came off. And then we'll release the parking adjuster, the main screw up the spring up there, and then take everything out. And with that, we have everything back together. Now we just need to put in this last spring at the bottom here. And that brings us to the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.